We will weaken Russia's economic base and its capacity to modernize. Мы мы принято решение о проведении специальной военной операции. Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. So we all know the Russia-Ukraine war has reached the next level. Ukraine is fighting for its future. Lots of casualties on both sides, lots of people are separated from their loved ones. So in today's video we are going to take a look at three topics related to this war. Number 1. A brief history of Vladimir Zelensky. Number 2. Impact of this war on Europe. Number 3. How China is trying to take advantage of this war? We will do a detailed analysis on these topics. Before that, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and turn on the bell notification. Okay, let's do this. Before I proceed, please accept my heartfelt condolences to the family of Naveen Shekharappa. Navin Shekharappa is an Indian citizen who lost his life in Ukraine-Russia war. I can't imagine what his family is feeling right now. Navin's death prompted the External Affairs Ministry to demand that Russia and Ukraine take immediate steps to ensure safe passage for Indian students who are trapped in Ukraine. Okay, let's move on to our first topic. Who is Vladimir Zelensky? President Vladimir Zelensky is feared to be Russia's top most target. But despite the existential crisis, the 44-year-old president became a defined wartime leader. Vladimir Zelensky was born into a Jewish family and grew up in Ukraine's southeastern region. During World War II, Zelensky's grandfather fought for the Soviet Union. After graduating with a law degree, Zelensky entered the world of entertainment. He began his career as an actor and a comedian. He then became a politician and Zelensky was elected president of Ukraine in 2019. At that time of election, he campaigned with a promise to negotiate peace with Russia. And now Ukraine is at war with Russia. Russian president accused Zelensky's government of being a pawn in the West. When the war started, Vladimir Zelensky turned down an offer from the United States to evacuate him from Ukraine. Instead, he requested other countries to provide him with weapons and ammunition. So let's just say, we have a hero in the making. Okay, now let's analyze how Ukraine conflict impact Europe's daily life. According to experts, groceries, travel and automobile prices are all projected to skyrocket because Russia and Ukraine are critical components of global supply chains. The world relies on them for fuel, oil, food and vehicle replacement parts. This war has the potential to interrupt all four of these necessary items of Europe's supply chain. Everything from the availability of food to the cost of energy petrol and airplane tickets, this war has the potential to disrupt your daily existence. To begin with, if you live in Europe, you will most likely pay extra to heat your home. Do you know Russia is the world's second biggest exporter of crude oil and refined gasoline? As well as the world's largest exporter of natural gas primarily through pipelines to Western Europe. Russia supplies approximately half of Europe's gas supply. If Putin weaponizes these supplies, energy prices in Europe may skyrocket. 
prices are anticipated to climb 54% in the United Kingdom alone. As the cost of energy rises, so will the cost of aviation fuel. This rises the expense of travel as well. Also, if you are in Europe, I strongly advise you to store up on necessities. Why? Because the cost of everyday foodstuff may climb as well. Russia and Ukraine are considered as Europe's breadbasket. Both of these countries export approximately 25% of world's wheat and corn supplies. Market analysts from all over the world have already predicted a 7% inflation rate in Europe. Consider this, as inflation continues to climb, so will the mortgage payments or the money you pay banks in exchange for a loan. According to reports, if the war continues, the Federal Reserve of United States and the Bank of England may both raise mortgage interest rates. Borrowing money from a bank will become more expensive as interest rates rise and customers will have less money to spend. Mortgage rates in the United States have already jumped to 4.8%. The automobile industry have also taken a hit as Russia is one of the main exporters of metals used in vehicle industry. Keep in mind that Russia exports nickel that are used in lithium-ion batteries as well as palladium for use in catalytic converters. If Russian government decides to cut off supplies of these metals in response for sanctions, global supply chain issues may escalate. All of this will have an impact on car pricing in the following months. So, what's China up to behind the scenes? China is attempting to benefit greatly from this war. Sanctions that bar Russian banks from the SWIFT international payment system may be exactly what China needs to make Yuan cross-border payment system a reality. China has long desired cross-border payment independence, CIPS, which is supported by People's Bank of China, provides cross-border RMB clearing and settlement services. The RMB now accounts for only 2% of foreign payments, implying that CIPS is still a long way from challenging SWIFT. The US dollar continues to dominate worldwide payments, accounting for over 40% of all transactions. I don't know why President Putin, a wise man, is being so careless on this major matter. The only explanation? Vodka burned the brains out. I really hope the war ends as soon as possible. It's time for us to turn to each other, not on each other. That's all I have for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's time for me to take off. Bye everyone.